So I had a question come in. Why are wiki keepers often short in height? I understand crouching up and down may be a reason. While the original question is fairly simple, it's definitely worth looking at and also why it's not quite as true today. And as I am one of the world's leading scientists on wicket keeping evolution, I will help you out. You have to go back to the start of cricket for this one, when pitches were terrible. Wicket keeping, as opposed to backstops, was a job that you did up at the stumps, or at least close to them. Here, let me illustrate with art. The keepers are up to the stumps, on uneven surfaces, against slow and often underarm bowling. So in that environment, it makes sense that you'd have a shorter keeper as they're naturally closer to the ground. Story time. Clyde Walcott was one of the first true keeper batsmen in cricket. Of keepers with more than 10 tests, he has the 8th best average of all time. Walcott was around 6 foot 2 or 188 centimetres. And he lasted 15 tests as West Indies keeper before back issues caused him to give up the gloves. He actually then went on to become one of the world's best batsmen because that's how he rolled. The idea that tall keepers will have back injuries more is fairly prevalent in cricket. No research has been done on it that I'm aware of. But Walcott last kept in a test match in 1951, and that's very different to now. In that team, West Indies had two of their best spinners of all time. Looking at West Indies' spin, it's quite clear that it kind of disappeared. Lance Gibbs still has 15.5% of all known West Indian spin week. And then when you look down the list, you see part-timers like Carl Hooper is fifth, and Chris Gale seventh, and Roston Chase ninth. Why am I telling you this? Because West Indies cricket obviously moved away from spin as a main weapon fairly dramatically. But so did mostly everyone else. Pitches changed, bounces became fun, reverse swing played a part, and so the kind of wicketkeeper you needed changed. How we selected wicketkeepers was also different. It's no longer seen as a specialist position. Most underage teams are picked without the thought of a keeper, the role assigned to whatever batsman is willing to take it. And as batsmen have got bigger and stronger, so too have wicketkeepers. Asia is obviously an outlier, as you need to keep up to the stumps more. But in most other places, Seam is very dominant, so you probably want a tall keeper who is an athlete to stop rogue bounces and dive for catches. Although, if you were creating a perfect wicket keeper now, what you want is someone with short legs, allowing them to keep very low with a huge wingspan. Yes, I've made a weird creation. But wicket keepers are weird. Wait till you hear about Ted Pooley. <laughs>